Hey everyone, this is Kunal and today I'll be comparing uh, I did not think this through Where are the cubes? Okay, I'm back, I finally found them uh, Today I'll be comparing the top 3 4 4s out on the market The Moyu Aosu WRM, the YJMGC and the X1 Design Ambition So these are the latest flagships released by their respective companies and these are what I consider to be the top 3 4 4 4s out on the market So let's jump right into it Okay, so I'll be talking about these cubes sort of in the order in which they were released. So let's start off with the Moyu Aosu WRM. This cube has an edge length of 59mm making it the smallest out of these three cubes. And the cube weighs roughly 122 grams making it the heaviest out of these three cubes. This is something that I personally really enjoy. I tend to lean towards heavier cubes. Talking about the performance, let's start off with the turning of the cube. It's extremely smooth and fast but because the cube is very very rigid and staple it's not uncontrollable the magnets feel sort of weak but i feel like this complements the stable feel of the cube very well and again because of the smaller size i don't really have much of an issue controlling this cube however with the extra stability there is a compromise to be made the corner cutting is a little bit harsh and this further adds to the sort of clacky feel that the cube has also, the shades in my opinion are not particularly nice, they're actually really dull. However, they contrast well and in good lighting, there's really no issue that I've faced with the shades. One thing I probably should mention about this cube is actually how reliable and consistent it is for me. I don't get many horrible sessions on this cube, but on the flip side, I also don't get many particularly incredible sessions. My times on this cube are simply average. However, the reliability has really been a big factor for me liking this cube. I have used all three of these cubes in online competitions, but I have only one 4x4 at a competition using this cube. So that is definitely testament to how well it holds up under nerves. Overall, I think this is a very solid release from Moyu and definitely a cube to consider. So next, we're going to talk about the YJMGC 4x4. Now, those of you who have known me for any amount of time, you know how much I love MGC big cubes. However, to be completely honest, I was not particularly excited for the release of the MGC 4x4. Just because I found that YJ 4x4s in the past have been somewhat mediocre. However, this cube definitely was a pleasant surprise. So just getting the specs out of the way, it has an edge length of 60mm, which is a millimeter larger than the Aosu WRM, and it weighs 114 grams, which I think is a really nice weight. It's a bit lighter than the Aosu WRM, but also not too light to the point where I dislike the feel of it. The raw speed, I would say, is roughly the same as the Aosu WRM. However, it feels a lot faster because the cube is lighter and it's also a lot more flexible. So I mentioned that the Aosu WRM feels very stable and rigid. It feels like the pieces are kind of secured to the core very well. Whereas on the MGC, I feel like the pieces are floating around a little bit. It's a very hard feeling to describe. You kind of have to get the cube to know what I'm talking about. And a lot of people have described this feel as clunky, so you may or may not like it, but I personally really enjoy the flexibility of this cube. Because of the mentioned flexibility, the cube also actually has really forgiving corner cutting. So if you have slightly rough turning, this might actually be a pretty decent cube for you. The two things I like most about this cube are of course, first off the price. It's the cheapest flagship 4 4 out on the market and out of these three cubes, it has the best price to performance ratio. So if you're unsure of which cube to get, this is the safest default recommendation. And the second is its versatility. This cube is honestly so versatile. When I got it out of the box, it was very fast and insanely flexible because the tensions were very loose. However, I found that the performance of this cube varies greatly depending upon the setup, which is quite good. So I've been able to slow down this cube a fair bit as well as make it more stable, sort of similar to the Aosu WRM. But of course, if you want, you can actually keep the cube a bit loose and actually have a fast and flexible cube as well. So it kind of gives you the best of both worlds. Overall, I think getting this cube is sort of a no brainer just because this is the cube that I think you will be able to set up to your preference, no matter what your preference is. And of course, it's cheaper than the rest. Finally, we have the X-Man Design Ambition 4x4, a very awaited product. 
so it has an edge length of 60 millimeters and it is the lightest of these three cubes weighing just 106 grams. This cube, I mentioned in my written review that it was my main and I gave it a very good review. However, my opinion on this cube has changed quite a lot since then. So first off, this cube is sort of the polar opposite of the Moyu Aosu WRM. It's wicked fast, very smooth, extremely flexible and has magnets that in my opinion are far too weak. Now I mentioned in the Aosu WRM portion that that cube gave me very consistent times. I didn't get many horrible times on that cube and I didn't get too many incredible sessions either. With the X-Man design ambition, I feel like every time I sit down to do a session, it's either absolutely ridiculously fast where I'm just pounding out consecutive 27s and 28s or they're actually really bad where I'm not even able to get under 35 seconds. This is again because of the combination of characteristics of this cube. So the speed, flexibility, smoothness, none of these are issues in isolation. But when you add all of these features into a cube, it leads to a cube that's just extremely volatile. I think that is the best way to describe it. So I would just have to turn fast on this cube and sometimes my look ahead is able to catch up and I get great times and more often than not, I just get terrible sessions. So this cube is simply not my main just because it is not at all reliable for me and it did not do that well in online competitions either. So in good faith, this is a very difficult 4x4 to recommend. So I would only recommend buying it if you've tried other Chi Mofangi big cubes such as the Walk 4, the Walk 5 or the X-Man Design 6x6 or 7x7 and you really like those cubes and you want that kind of feel in a more compact 4x4. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it took me almost a whole hour of filming to even manage a 31 average on this cube, whereas within 15 to 20 minutes I got sub 30 averages on both the MGC and the Moyo Asu WRM. So it's not like I was in particularly bad form today, the cube just wasn't suiting my turning. So again, like I mentioned, if you like other Chi Mofangi big cubes, you might really like this cube. Or if you have very light and very fluid and very accurate turning, you might actually be able to take advantage of the speed that this cube provides. However, for the majority of solvers out there, this cube is honestly not one that I would recommend. So now that I've talked about all three cubes, which cube do I recommend the most? So if you haven't figured it out already, my recommendation is the YJ MGC 4x4. Um, it is my current main, it has given me some very good times and it is also the cheapest out of the three by far as I've mentioned which just makes it a very no-brainer default recommendation for me. Now if you're someone who struggles a little bit with say competition nerves or rough turning inconsistent times you might like the Aosu WRM because like I mentioned it's a very stable reliable cube and in fact I have tried all of these cubes in online competitions and the Aosu WRM is the only cube with which I have actually won a 4x4 event. So you can look into that and if you're someone who likes X-Man Design or Chi Mofange big cubes, there are other ones such as the Bok 5 and the X-Man Design 6x6 and 7x7, you might actually enjoy the X-Man Ambition 4x4. Just be a little bit aware that it does require a fair bit of setup and getting used to but it is definitely a nice cube. But once again my recommendation is the YJ MGC 4x4. You can buy it from the link in my description and you can use discount code COKE at checkout for an additional 50 rupees off. So thank you for watching this video. This was my first ever kind of voiceover review type thing. I usually do written reviews so definitely uh, I'm open to some constructive criticism if you guys have any pointers for me. And leave a comment down below about which one of these cubes you use as your main and if you use a cube that wasn't included in this list, definitely leave a comment about that as well. I'd be interested to know about it. And uh, please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed this there are a lot more reviews and tutorials that are going to come out on my channel so you wouldn't want to miss out on those um, that's all for this time bye